At the end of 2019, the world experienced a drastic change in life that none of us was prepared for. School turned on and all public places became forbidden. Possibly due to the loneliness and such a close exposure to death for the first time ever in life, I began thinking about this pandemic and questioning humanity's way of living. No one was able to provide me an answer for over two years. It seems like people are just more familiar with facing trivial questions like what we should stockpile today. Well, if I'm a Costco staff, probably toilet paper. Or maybe we never brought up this question because we all intentionally neglected it. Not too long ago, a friend asked me about why do we even care that so many people are dying. During the conversation, he referred to Darwin's statement in 1857 that talked about how allowing the weaker species to survive will cause undoubted negative influence on our living environment. If this question was brought up to me before the pandemic or before my thinking process, I would even question where this concern came from and categorize this friend as selfish and cruel. However, let's all ask ourselves, if the natural selection process is inevitable in nature, what is so unique about us humans that allowed us to be exempt from this rule? The only answer I could come up with is plainly because we're human. And I felt pathetic for my answer because while we are the ones plowing the Amazon rainforest and causing the earth to suffer, we're still excusing ourselves for being superior. We're still obsessed with this human-centric view of life. For a long time in history, men believed they had developed to conquer the earth. We made ourselves the enemy of the entire world and excused ourselves for all the prevailing human destructions by simply stating that these negative effects are all just necessary paystones for conquering the world, for fulfilling the mission. As a result, we exterminate our competitors and deteriorate our competitors' resources. However, who would not be our competitors if we believe that every inch of land belongs to us? What is more unfortunate is that with the rapid advancements of our civilization, human desires grow exponentially, exploiting resources we cannot discover before and seeking more with those technologies. It has finally become a fact that we can never fulfill our desires, yet we are already pushing into the last natural spaces available, determined that we can be exempt from the natural law of living. However, when the statement is not true, when in reality no one can be exempt from the natural law of living, will be the end for us, for humanity, when everything bites back. The virus should be warning all of us. It showed us how hopeless we can be when facing severe crisis, millions, are losing their life, but we still hesitate to take actions. We need to discard this human-centric belief right now and provide the rest of the world with a chance of survival too. The Earth was created as a collective container for all, and only when all species are functioning properly will the Earth survive healthily. For our generation, there's still hope. Oh, was life so short? Why don't we start today by telling one other person about what we have learned and heard from me?